everyone, back at Farmer Pat here. Today is a very exciting day for me. You guys know that I, I when I did the fall walkthrough, that I talked, I showed you my butternut squash. What I'd actually done was cut open a butternut squash that was on my counter for two weeks, and I saw that a couple of the seeds had started germinating, so I planted those seeds. And look at this here. We now have blossoming butternut squash, and I wanna show you how to hand pollinate them so you can maximize your yield. So with the butternut squash, same as zucchinis and everything in that gourd family or winter squash family, they have both a male fe um, flower and a female flower. Only the female flowers actually have fruit, but we need both the male and female flowers because they do not, they cannot bear fruit or they, they're not successfully bearing fruit unless they're pollinated. In nature, the bees and the ants and those things are the ones that pollinate. But because I have a very small plant, actually these are two plants in one small five, five gallon bag, I'm gonna make sure that these get pollinated. So first, let me show you what the flowers look like. So right here, you'll see this is a female flower. And you can tell it's a female flower because at the very back, of any of these gourds you'll see that this looks it actually looks like a, a butternut squash if it was a pumpkin behind it you'll see the the swelling like the engorgement and it and it would be it would look like a pumpkin if it's a zucchini it's gonna look like a zucchini if it's a squash it's gonna look like a squash but for the male flower here's a male it's just a straight line it's just a long straight tube no engorgement so there's no baby here. So I always think of it as, for the female, think of it as a pregnant belly. You see the, the young, um, underdeveloped baby. For a male, it's just straight. I'm gonna show you also another way to tell, if you're still not sure. In the male flower, it's very similar to a human male. <laughs> so when you look at the male flower, this is where the pollen is, right? And you can kind of tell what it looks like. So if you're a guy and <laughs> you open this up and it looks like you, it's probably a male. The female on her inside, it's very different. So what we're gonna do is take the pollen from the male. So all this yellow stuff is a pollen and we're gonna very, very gently rub it, ooh, rub it on the female. And that is how you pollinate, it's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. And you can see an ant in there already trying to pollinate it, but we have to be sure that the pollen gets from the male to the female. Be very, very gentle because you don't want to break that off. And there, she's pollinated. When you pollinate, that, make, that makes sure that this becomes an actual punk, um, pumpkin or butternut squash and that it doesn't fall off. It's really important to hand pollinate these, especially when you have a small plant like this, you don't wanna waste any of your pumpkins, right? You don't want any of them to not develop. And the thing about it, if you don't hand pollinate them, there's no guarantee that the pollen or the pollinators are gonna get from the male flower to the female flower. You can pollinate it the way I just showed you, or you can also pollinate it using a very light brush you can gently touch the brush onto the male flower. You'll see the pollen. Then you can go to the female flower and gently deposit the pollen. That's another way of doing it. Another thing I didn't tell you is that these flowers are edible. They're actually quite delicious. If it tastes a flower, it actually tastes like it actually tastes like a butternut squash. It's a very mild flavor. As a matter of fact, if some of these fancy restaurants actually cook this or charge you a whole ton of uh, money for squash blossoms. Another very important thing is that you have to hand pollinate first thing in the morning. If you wait till 10 o'clock, it's too late. Um, the flowers would have closed and you lost your opportunity. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. 
follow me on Instagram also where there I have a whole lot more pictures and updates on what's going on in the garden. I really appreciate you. Till next time. Bye.